All right, guys, remember, I'm not going to tell you how much I paid for it. Uh, it was a steal for me. It was a steal. Uh, I'm not too sure if I'm going to flip this or use it. Keep it to myself. Put it down in the comments. Go ahead and look at it. And maybe I'll tell you at the end of the video. Maybe not. I'll put it there. So stick around. All right, guys, look what I picked up for. Not going to spoil the surprise. I'm not going to put how much I picked it up for. I'm going to let y'all just, just guess how much I picked this thing up for. It did have a hole right here. The guy didn't tell me and I saw it after I, I picked it up. JB Weld did that. If you use JB Weld, you know that thing is going to hold forever. And I mean forever. No nothing. Let me flip it around. All right, guys. Check it out. I'm going to flip this little guy down. All right, guys, this is a 10 foot, 2 inch boat, little John boat, whatever Pelican Raider, I believe. I'm not too sure from Academy. They retail at about a thousand. I'm not too sure, I'll put it here. I'm pretty sure it's like 1500, I think. I believe I'm not too sure, but let's give it a let's see if I can pick it up. Like, it, let's see if I can pick it up. I already threw it in the in the back of my truck. It wasn't that heavy, but right now, let's see if I could, maybe whenever I pull up to a location or whatever, I can pick it up by myself from the front. It's pretty easy, pretty lightweight. From the back like this, it's pretty easy. We definitely want to use two people because unless you have the little uh, wheels that you put in the back and then all you do is lift it from the front or the back like this and and, and just tow it wherever you're gonna to your like launching point or whatever because you don't want to scratch this thing up they do get scratched up pretty easy that was that that didn't go as it <laughs> all, right. all right take two Pretty easy. Pretty cool boat. Doesn't weigh that much. Bring it in here. It's a little dirty right now. I mean, are we already power washed it or whatever has been on the on the it has been sitting around for I believe half a month, a month or so. Up top over here it has a trolling motor uh, bracket right here. You can put it in the front or in the back. Uh, usually on these boats you put them in the back or if you want to run dual trolley motors the guy i don't know how he installed this thing i don't i have no idea how this works i'm terrified to even test it out i don't want to catch fire or my battery pop or explode or whatever dude there's plenty of room here for two people you got the chair here oh man these are nice i've all i've been wanting one of these for the longest time but they're super expensive. Uh, this is how it should go right here. The, the person in the front enjoys this front deck. And the person in the back obviously enjoys the back deck down here. Cup holders, very important for me. I love to have something uh, right next to me to be drinking beer, which is probably gonna go in here. The fish and the beer go in here. Hey, that's a good saying. Hey. That's a good saying. The fish and the beer go in here. <laughs> All right. The fish and the beer go in there. Um, that's a live well. Let's go ahead and look at it. This one does have the plunger right here so you can drain it out. I will be uh, caulking that area and everything. That's just dirt right there. Pretty cool. Again, the on the back over here, this guy, instead of the original trolley motor wires, I don't know why he did this. I have no idea how to even wire something like this i'm gonna take it off i don't even i don't even know i'm gonna look up to the, i'm gonna look on youtube see what the see how this actually works okay on the back got the the someone has been has used it you can see the circles over here i mean not too much you usually see these all scratched up that's how you can tell um if it was used a lot but not really 
that's a good thing so hopefully we can find a trolling motor for it on marketplace a cheap one or we'll, we'll buy one not that expensive uh over here man i love th this right here it's like a little casting deck or something i'd, I'd stand there and cast all day long i'll make myself fit in there um on this side on this side over here is where the trolling motor wires run i'm i believe these already come pre-wired but you know how it is people like to mess with everything it's uh one in the front and one in the back i believe one goes to the front one goes to the back easy setup if you want to know how they work hook up a battery and with your test leads go check which one works and then mark them or whatever oh look it even has like a, a battery holder thing so that's where the batteries will go i mean one battery should be enough for the day if you can bring another one put it over there or whatever not too sure over here it has the has some good cleats over here strong cleats rub railing another uh thing so you can put all your lures whatever uh very decent boat all around also this thing fits in the back of my truck like nothing you can just put it in there um go wherever you're gonna go load unload load unload load whatever no problem look at that cat hey where are you what's up what's up kitty check this out guys we're gonna go check the cats cats come on let's go check it out i made them this little house um they've been in here since they were freaking born this one looks like it's dead oh no it's not it's alive this one weird I'm not messing with your cats, I'm out of here. Like I was saying, I picked that boat up, found it on Marketplace. I picked it up for an astonishing amount of $60. I picked that thing up for $60. I didn't lowball the guy. Um, I just told him it was because it was in really bad shape. The guy had a pigeon or a bird inside because he was training his dog or something like that. That's what he told me. So I th this thing was covered in poop. We pressure washed it, shampooed it, Cloroxed it, everything. And it turned out pretty nice, very white. You can do another Clorox rinse or whatever, make it real white. But um, the plans for this is use it for a while and sell it. I had put it up for 500 bucks. Some guy instantly messaged me, hey, I'm going for the boat. Don't sell it, I'm on the way. And I told him, uh, no, my bad, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna sell it because we're gonna use it for a little bit, enjoy it. I heard Austin had some pretty good legs, little, little ponds. So if you wanna see those videos, like and subscribe or i'll link my other channel because i have two channels so like and subscribe and see the future results for this video how much we get out of it uh what, what we do to it and how much we can get out of it because if i upload this on this channel it'll be a flip a uh, whole idea thing or whatever but but you let me know if that was a good deal if i got got a scammed or whatever it, or if you've seen deals like this and uh, all of a sudden you're waiting for the right time and then they disappear someone else buys them and you're shit out of luck you should have hopped on those deals that's what i did it was about 7, 6 p.m and it was about 20 minutes away the guy was 20 minutes away nobody I, I said let's hop on the truck and go for this little boat so it did not disappoint so uh stick around and see what we're gonna be using this boat for so hopefully you enjoyed this video got something out of it and like and subscribe see you on the next video